Welcome back to my channel. I have not done a wig review or a wig install in a hot little minute. So I'm just gonna talk you all through like everything that I'm doing. This might be the first time I've made a video this way, but yeah. So the first thing that I'm gonna be doing is cutting off the ear part. So we definitely don't need that part there because it's going to look crazy if you leave it there. And we definitely want the lace front to look as seamless as possible. I don't wear lace fronts as of often. I'm currently wearing a sew-in, but like I said, um, we definitely want to make it as seamless as possible. So I pin my hair up to get it out of the way and make sure that the glue does not stick on it. And then I cut it into those three flaps because it just makes it easier to pull them down and lay them flat. Um, I'm taking some ghost bond and I'm putting it around my edges. I do this like around maybe three times. Um, and then as you see, I'm taking each flap and I am adjusting it on top of that glue and holding it down just to make sure it's secure in place. And then I attempted to take this um, elastic band, but that didn't work. So <laughs> I used my handy dandy blue scarf and let it sit for a little bit of time and then I go in with some got to be spray um, along the edges and I'm gonna let um, it sit a little longer with the blue scarf tied on it so after I do that let it wait some time um, I end up cutting off the flaps um, and as you see, like it definitely makes it look more flat and seamless and all the glue is dry now. I do feel like I probably could have plucked the edges maybe a little bit better, but it all works out in the end when you see me do the baby hairs. But what I did take was some foundation that is my skin tone and I just put that over the glue just because we want it to look like our skin tone we don't want i know sometimes y'all see like when people do their frontals they'll have like like white or it'll be lighter at the top they need to put um their own foundation there right now i'm working on doing the part and i take a wax stick and use my um hot comb that way that it lays flatter so i'm doing that um i honestly feel like i could have made the part a little more defined as well but honestly it's easier to get away with this when you have curly hair so then I took out my pieces that I use for my baby hair and I am going to tweeze those when you tweeze the baby hairs it makes the baby hairs look um, more natural and I just take my hair scissors and I cut in a diagonal yeah a diagonal type of way and I do that I, people do a lot of different things with their baby hairs but I only do the two on the side and then sometimes I'll do it in the front or sometimes I won't do it at all but most of the time I won't do it at all with sew-ins but with frontals I will just because I want less chance of you being able to see my lace after we cut it we take a very small flat iron so this is the babyless pro flat iron and I'm just going to curl my baby hairs and then we shape them into place using got to be um, there are a couple other ways you can do this you can do this with mousse but just for this specific video I did only use got to be spray so as you see I'm trying to get everything together I'm doing the same technique which is using the flat iron flipping them and then taking the got to be and shaping them with a comb some people use baby hair brush I like to use a rat tail comb that's just how I do it but that's constantly what I'm doing shaping it and like I said I do feel like I could have tweezed the edges a little more but like I said I feel like it it did kind of work out in the end 
happy of just doing some more cutting, flipping, spraying until I get something that I like, until I get the look that I like with my baby hairs. I don't know what I was talking about, y'all. I was clearly on the phone with somebody, so I don't know what, <laughs> what I was talking about, but yeah. So still spraying and laying, period. Now as you see, that's how it looks once I got done with my baby hairs, but this is not uh, the completed product. I am taking a wax stick and getting everything together. And wax sticks help your hair look flatter and lay flatter. So at that point I'm taking a spray bottle and I'm just spraying through my hair because this is curly hair. You don't have to put any product on this hair at all. Honestly, I don't really do that with any of my curly hair. I don't put product on it. I don't see the point. Um, so you just take a spray bottle and you just brush through it. And I also am using some pink like oil sheen just because it just makes it look more shiny and more cute. I think at this point I kind of was like, I don't really care about the part. Uh, I think I was more of going for a flip over method. I kind of messed with the part a little bit, but yeah, like I said, I just take my oil sheen, shine it up scrunch my hair up and make it a look so that is my complete look thank you all so much for tuning in to this hair install and let me know if you have any questions bye